Yo, yo, yo. What's going on YouTube world? Austin Zay back here with another YouTube video. And uh, in this video, I'm actually in Puerto Vallarta right now. Uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And I'm sitting here in my Airbnb. And in this video, I wanna talk to you about how you can run an ATM company or an ATM business. I know there is a ton of hype right now about the ATM business. And right now, I'm gonna show you how you can do the ATM business, not only with no money, right? You don't have to have a ton of money. You don't have to have amazing credit. You don't have to have all of these crazy things to get involved in the ATM business. But also, I think another big misconception is that you've got to have all the ATMs in your own backyard so you can fill them with money and you can be there when they break down and you can service a machine seven days a week. And that is not the reality of the business at all. Again, I'm in Puerto Vallarta and uh, just go ahead and check it out real quick. But over the last couple of days, I've been able to literally make thousands of dollars. I'm just gonna show you a few of my ATM machine profits. You'll know that I've been able to literally not only make a ton of money from the ATM business while I travel the world, but also I've actually been able to land new ATM locations while traveling the world as well. And I'll show you that right here too. Um, you know, that's actually my business partner that was actually out landing new locations while I've been able to travel. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips to be able to run an ATM company from anywhere in the world. Real quick, go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. Smash that subscribe button because it definitely helps our odds in the YouTube algorithm so we can become one of the biggest communities on YouTube. Get a good business partner, right? Having a good business partner is so crucial because at the end of the day, if you're gonna be traveling, somebody needs to be back home handling things for you, right? They need to be loading the money, they need to be maintaining the machines, they need to be doing the day-to-day -day activities, landing new locations and doing, um, you know, a lot of the customer support that goes along with running any company for that matter, but especially an ATM business. Now, as I said a little while ago, I got very blessed to find an amazing business partner. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, when I'm traveling, he's typically not. And when he's traveling, I'm typically not. Um, and, and in a minute, I'm gonna share with you step number two, how you can actually do it without a business partner if you don't want one. But again, uh, I, would, I would suggest to get a business partner, okay? I would suggest to get into business with somebody that uh, you know, at the end of the day, that it has the same goals that you want. They have the same dreams, the same visions, and you're aligned mentally. That way you can ultimately um, take on the world, right? You can achieve whatever it is that you set out to achieve. Another way to do it if you don't want to get a business partner and you want to run an ATM company all by yourself is to remember that everything's negotiable. So now what do I mean by that? At the end of the day, uh, I mean that you don't have to be the one loading the cash. A lot of people think you've got to have like all this money and you've just got to be loaded to the brim and uh, you've gotta be like a bank, like Wells Fargo or Bank of America or something to do the ATM company. And the reality of it is you could just buy the machine, right? So you own the equipment, right? You own the machine and you have somebody else load the cash. Now, whether that's just a random individual, maybe a family uh, member or a friend, somebody with money, an investor, or the owner of that location, right? So say that I buy an ATM machine and I own the machine and I put it into a barber shop. I could always convince the barber shop owner to load my ATM with his money and then do more of a 50-50 split when it comes to the surcharge fee, right? So let's say the surcharge fee is $3 rather than me take like 290 and he take 10 cents or me take 250 and he take, you know, 50 cents we could do like a dollar fifty and a dollar fifty. I mean, at the end of the day, I own the machine. He loads it with cash. Uh, a machine typically runs out of receipt paper like every eight to twelve months. I mean, come on. When's the last time you actually printed a receipt when you went to go pull out money out of an ATM? Or do you do what everybody else does? And what do you do? You click the button, that says no receipt, right? So at the end of the day, there's not a lot of maintenance, and that is a very good way that you can travel the world, like you see right here, okay, in Puerto Vallarta. And, uh, and make a bunch of money in the ATM business without actually having a business partner and without being um, you know, within driving distance to your ATM machines. All right, another way to do it is to plan ahead. Now I know you're watching this, you're like, Austin, I can't even plan what I'm gonna wear tomorrow, let alone plan out my ATM business. But hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? So do the math and plan ahead. And maybe in the beginning, you only have one or two ATM machines. And what exactly I mean by that is this, you know, a lot of people, they fill their ATM machines with a thousand or two thousand dollars. And at the end of the day, it goes through that every freaking weekend. And you're finding yourself constantly driving to your ATM machine to load it with more money. Well, just go ahead and figure out what you have in your savings account and put more money in the cassette of the ATM. 
know how long you're gonna travel, know how much on average gets used every single day out of your ATM, and make sure you have enough cash in the cassette to be able to withstand uh, and not run out while you're out of town, while you're traveling, right? We have some ATMs that they only need like five or $10,000 over the course of an entire month. And we have other ATMs that need five or $10,000 a day. So again, you've got to do the math and you've got to plan ahead. And that is totally an option, by the way. According to a couple of articles, the average American has about $10,000 sitting in a savings account at a bank or a credit union. Now, at the end of the day, why don't you just let your uh, ATM be your bank or your credit union, right? You've got an ATM, maybe you have two ATMs and you know that your ATM machine only goes through $5,000 over the course of a month, take that $5,000 that isn't making you anything in your savings account and go ahead and put it in the bottom of that ATM. At the end of the day, I can't imagine that there's any savings account where you're making any more than like 1.5 to maybe 2% at a savings account. Even with a lot of the good options out there right now, and I make anywhere from 20 to 30% with my ATMs. So I don't know, you tell me. Where would you rather have your money sitting? In a bank account at 2% interest on a good day or in the bottom of an ATM machine at 20% on a bad day? The main thing to remember here is that everybody wants passive income in life, right? Everybody wants to be able to travel the world, to do whatever they want with whoever they want, whenever they want. And the ATM business is a phenomenal way for you to be able to make that happen. I mean, come on. I'm here in Puerto Vallarta, enjoying my life, and at the end of the day, I'm making money day after day without actually having to put any work in. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So if you're not where you wanna be in life right now, check out the ATM business. Check out the links in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Like the video if you haven't already. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.